we can see both at the same time. The Geminids meteor shower has been dazzling stargazers for the past few days, but Thursday night will be the peak of the show, meaning an average of 120 meteors an hour or two streaks every minute. You can see the brighter ones in the suburbs, but for the best viewing, the sky must be darker. In Colorado, that means you need to get at least 30 miles east or west of the I-25 population center. This shower is called the Geminids because many of the meteors appear to come from the Gemini constellation, but don't worry too much about which direction you're looking, just look up. The moon sets at 1030 tonight and the sky should remain mostly cloud free. The best viewing time though will be between midnight and 3 a.m. The Geminids are made up of comet dust that hits the atmosphere as the Earth crosses the path of the asteroid 3200 Phaethon. The particles that range in size from a grain of sand to a small pebble hit the atmosphere at about 78,000 miles an hour, which is slower than most space debris. That allows the streaks to last longer, enhancing the visual reward. The comet 46P Wirtanen is also making a close encounter with the Earth. It should be bright enough to see with the naked eye this weekend, but prepare yourself to be underwhelmed unless you're using a telescope, binoculars, or a camera lens with a zoom. This comet will not be easy to locate even for veteran stargazers, but if you'd like to give it a shot, move away from light pollution and look east near the constellation Taurus. If you can't find Taurus, which can be hard to spot, look instead for the three aligned stars of Orion's belt. Look up from there until you find this star cluster called Pleiades. The comet will appear as a faint green or bluish speck in that area. Medi